Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Moto X and in this video I'm going to show you the two unique features offered on this Moto X that is the touchless controls and the active display. So here I have the Moto X with me and uh, uh, the two special features are the touchless controls and the active display. You see these notifications, I'll come back to the active display a bit later. I like the active display feature a lot more and I use it almost uh, every day. But let's first talk about uh, touchless controls. Actually uh, this Moto X has two dedicated different processors that makes this uh, functionality possible and actually uh, the Moto X uh, mic is continuously on and it's listening for this special keyword and when we say that it wakes up you don't have to touch the phone it might be around 15 or 20 feet away from you that is touchless controls and let me give you a demo of it uh, the keyword is okay google now and as you can see it wakes up let me just uh, switch it off and we can give special commands now uh, for example uh, let's say this phone is about 15 20 feet away from me and i just get some notifications i hear about it but i just don't want to go there and i want to know what are the notifications you can do that by touchless controls let me show you the same okay google now read notifications good morning branchy the time is 11 39 a.m you received a notification from Plume at 11.37 a.m. at Geeky Ranjit. Hello, sir. I like S5 and with all Samsung PHS, the paint of side chrome bezel comes off. Do you think the same will happen with S5? You missed a call from Ranjit home at 11.30 a.m. You received a notification from WhatsApp at 11.29 a.m. So without even touching the phone, uh, you can come to uh, get to know what are the notifications and if something is important, you can attend to it. You can also do other tasks like let's say you want to just call up somebody. You can just say that uh, keyword and just say call that person. It will call up. You can also send text messages. Uh, so this touchless functionality is kind of uh, useful and also uh, 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 let me just unlock the phone. Uh, let uh, I won't do that because uh, I'll lose this notification. I want to show you the touchless controls also. Uh, so this uh, and you can also wake it up and ask questions. For example, uh, you can ask, uh, "Okay, Google, now will it rain tomorrow?" No, rain is not expected tomorrow in Hyderabad. The forecast is 39 degrees and part. So apart from uh, those things that are the notification, etc., you can also ask stuff like uh, this and it will get that information from Google now. And if you have noticed, it, it takes about a second or two to get the stuff from Google now. Uh, but if you just want to uh, get to know the notifications, etc., you don't need any active data connection. It works. Uh, so that's touchless controls. Uh, now let me, uh, I'll come back to the touchless controls later on. And you see these uh, notifications. Actually, this uh, Moto X does not have any physical LED notification light uh, whatever notifications that you get are displayed on the screen and it automatically shows you for example if you just pick up the phone uh, it will show you or whenever you get a notification uh, it will uh, show you that and it also actually senses if there is any vibration around or you're just going to pick up the phone it shows you for example as you can see I've got some notifications here uh, on a traditional phone what you would have to do is you have to press the power button slide to unlock the phone uh, slide open the uh, what do you say no notification tray click on that item to view the notification with the moto x it's actually very simple you just pick up the phone like this just tap on the notification and now you can read it uh, it's not foolproof the thing is that only the latest notification you can read for example i can't read this as of now uh, this whatsapp message or the missed call so that's the limitation and let's say uh, you don't want to return to this notification you can just slide this away and it goes away so this is active notification and this saves a lot of time now you might be asking that uh, it is showing this clock or those notification always it might drain the battery a lot but fortunately it does not do that uh, because uh, this Moto X is using a super AMOLED screen so it does not have to light up the entire display so uh, the battery life is also great now it's been around what uh, five days since i'm using initially the battery life i was getting was not that great but uh, now it has improved and i was able to get around four hours of screen time so i like this active notification a lot more uh, on this uh, moto x and i think so that's a great time saver because you don't have to unlock the phone you can just tap if you get any notification you get to know what is it and if it's important you can attend to it uh, regarding touchless controls uh, this also works uh, if you have this enabled uh, in the assist if you have this enabled in driving mode it will automatically detect when you are driving and let's say when you're driving and you get a sms message it will automatically read it to you or if you get a call you don't have to touch it will say that 
X Y Z person is calling. Do you want to take that call or not? So actually, this touchless control works fine, and you need to enable it when you get it first. And you need to train the uh, Moto X here. As you can see, we have this touchless control, and you need to enable it, and you need to train. Uh, you have to use this train your phrase. So you have to say that okay, Google now three times, and then it will recognize your voice. Uh, and I would say it works pretty well. Uh, uh, my wife tried to use that OK Google Now phrase. It did not work, <laughs> as you can see. It detects my uh, voice now. Uh, but I won't say it is 100% foolproof. I was watching a YouTube video about Moto X and one of the reviewers just said, uh, he sounded very similar to me and he said OK Google Now and <laughs> the phone waked up. Uh, so the Google, OK Google Now works fine, but uh, there is a small uh, mischance that it might fire if somebody has very similar voice to you. So I feel these are the two unique features offered by the Moto X, that is the, uh, what do you say, active display and the touchless controls. I'll also be producing the gaming review for this Moto X very soon. And uh, I will also be posting the full in-depth review in the next few days. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. So that's it for now for this uh, quick look at the active display and uh, touchless controls on the Moto X. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.